The advantage of moving to Azure is that it uh, allows you to scale your compute power and on demand rather than buy it all up front uh, and have a significant impact on your ongoing uh, economics of running your IT. As we know, when we're managing an IT estate, it can often sprawl beyond our control. It's not always easy to get a handle on how much our technology is costing us. Whereas in the Azure environment, as an IT professional, as a business leader, as somebody who works in finance, it's very easy for me to get a real-time take on what resources are being used, who's consuming them, and whether or not we're being truly optimised. Companies should migrate to Azure um, if they're finding, in terms of their on-premises data centre, they've got capacity constraints, or they've got end-of-life hardware or software, so Windows going end-of-life, SQL going end-of-life, um, there's opportunities uh, to move those workloads into Azure. Customers should also migrate to Azure if they're thinking about their security posture. We all know, we've seen in the headlines today, that businesses, all shapes and sizes, are under attack from cyber threats more than ever before. When you take advantage of a cloud service like Azure, you tap into the combined telemetry of trillions of data points that can help better protect your organization. When moving to Azure, customers need to make sure that they have the right people on board with the right skills and experience to make a success of their transition. Training individuals so that they have the right knowledge and expertise to get the best out of a scalable cloud environment like Azure is critical. Customers do need to be conscious of them and actively manage is the ongoing flexible costs of cloud. That's a positive and that can equally uh, be a negative if left un un unmanaged um, and unmonitored. Making sure that you have a clear vision of what you want to accomplish in Azure is also really key to making sure you are successful. You might be meeting a tactical challenge or you might be meeting a strategic long-term need, but make sure you have a clear idea of what it is that you're going to be using Azure for. Governance is also really high up the list of things that customers should consider. To get better control, better rigor over how you manage your environment so that people can do what they need to do flexibly and freely, but within the guardrails of the organizational requirements that you have around costs and you know perhaps compliance, regulatory oversight, those kinds of things. So there are huge amounts of information in the docs.microsoft.com platform, provide technical detail and examples, tutorials for customers to get started with the various technologies available in Azure. One of the hidden gems that's on docs.microsoft.com is the cloud adoption framework, which wraps up all of the best practice guidance across several pillars of managing a cloud environment into one consumable platform that allows you to digest those pillars really easily and understand how you can get the very best out of designing, deploying, and managing your cloud environment, and along with all the documentation that you need to understand what that looks like. And then of course, all the skills that you might want to go and get to back up that knowledge that you have. We provide as Bytes a number of services for customers to get on board with Azure. So understanding the capabilities of Azure, understanding how to build well in Azure, and actually getting them started with actually a project to build out an Azure environment to start with. We can support customers in their journey to Azure um, through a quick start program. So these are very short, sharp engagements that enable a customer to quickly um, implement and experience the power and capability of Azure. We have our rich partner ecosystem in terms of the specialist expertise that our, our friends, our partners like Bytes have in order to help you deploy more quickly, more successfully than if you were to try to do this yourself. It's, it's not something that should be underestimated how incredibly important it is to have somebody, uh, a critical pair of hands to advise you and guide you on your journey. And working with partners is one of the best ways to get your hands on that expertise and that knowledge to help you be successful as well.